When it comes to the decision making in organizations, managers can use a so-called garbage can model for decision making and it's a pretty interesting example, so let's see. This model turns decision making process around and argues that managers are as likely to start decision making from solution side as from problem side. This is interesting. So what it says is that there is always some sort of problem and then there should be always some solution to this problem. And of course, we, we all know that there is some sort of a path between problem we are seeking for, uh, uh, between the problem and solution, that is our seek for a solution. Now the garbage can model says that there is also the other way around. So we can start from the solution side and get to the problem side. So let's see the other part. In other words, decision makers may propose solutions to problems that do not exist. They create a problem and they can solve it with solutions that are already available. Let's think about this part over here. Uh, solutions that are already available. So um, these solutions that are already available are, are sort of touching the topic of core competencies. So core competencies, that is our company uh, holding. So competencies. Now, what can those be? For instance, our core competence can be, uh, let's say, our great managers that, or, or anything basically that is really making our company better than our competitors. For instance, it can be uh, uh, our way of attracting new customers or let's say it can be the design of our product. So let's imagine that we are a company uh, that is making um, custom designed furniture. So custom designed uh, designed furniture, furniture. Now let's say that our managers realize that the, the, our design of our furniture is really, really outstanding. So the managers start to think from the solution side, where can we use this solution that we already have? We have a great design and they start over here and now they realize, okay, for instance, in Scandinavia, uh, uh, people would really appreciate our uh, furniture. So we have a solution sort of. If we wanna increase uh, our revenues with our custom design furniture, which will be really appreciated in Scandinavia, we have to get to Scandinavia. So then a problem arises. How should we get or how should we expand? How should we expand? It's quite tricky to um, sort of better explain this garbage can model, but really think about it the way that in an organization there are some core competencies or, or some solutions to problems that are already available. So what our managers sometimes doing is that they take these solutions, they look at them and try to seek for the problems that they can solve with these solutions. Now, why is it called a garbage can model? You can imagine that within an organization there is a large amount of managers. So let's say this is one manager, this is another manager, then this is another manager. And now what they are doing is that they are uh, sort of throwing out these solutions that they can uh, uh, deliver, then they are proposing problems that they should be solving. They are competing for the resources and it all sort of ends up in one garbage can. And that's why it got this weird name, uh, garbage can model. 